Spiritual warfare is very real. Very real. There is a war going on right now for your soul. There's a war for your family. There's angels and demons and they're waging war right now. I was teaching my daughter something the other day. She was telling me that uh, she was having something going on in her dreams. And instead of me just saying, oh, well, you know, it's okay. We, know we all have those dreams. I could have easily done that. But I said, that you know that you can have authority in your dreams. I wish I had somebody that told me that when I was young. Could have saved me years of night terrors to the point where I literally would go to the bathroom in the bed because I didn't want to get up because I was so terrified that something was going to grab me and kill me and drag me into the bed. Like, I'm talking to y'all for real. Like, this is my real life. And all through my childhood, I was tormented by fear. So my daughter said, you know, this is going on in my dreams. And I said, the next time that you have those dreams, I'm going to show you how to navigate through your dreams with spiritual warfare and the authority of Jesus Christ. I don't believe that my daughter should just be subject to whatever happens in her dream room. I believe that we as believers, under the authority and lordship of Jesus Christ, we have the ability to take back our dreams. I have the ability to be in, in the middle of a, a nightmare that's happening and take authority over that, that dream in Jesus name and speak the word of God and command every tormenting spirit, every spirit of fear, whatever's gotten into my dream realm, out now. Now I, I've already showed her Instead of us being in the dream and that happening, we're going to go ahead and close up these hedges before we even lay down. And so if you, if your eyes could be open to the spiritual realm, you would be shocked. You would literally be floored at what you would see right on your neighborhood streets, right in, in your property. Maybe it's some people even in your home. You would be floored at what you would see in the spirit realm. And I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that God would open your eyes now to see what heaven sees in Jesus' mighty name. That you would not be in the dark. That you would not just think it's a phase. That you would not just think this is life. But that you would be able to see from your heavenly perspective and know that a demon is trying to bring havoc into your family. You would know when the angel of the Lord has stepped on the scene on spiritual warfare. It is very real. Whether or not you want to participate, whether you, you want to play or not, it's happening especially to the lives of believers. You got a target on you, on your back. You go, well, I'm not a prophet. I'm not doing anything on social media. I'm not a pastor. I'm not on a, you're a believer though. And the enemy sees you as a threat. And you need to know who you are in God. <sighs> Whatever you're going through, God has equipped you. He literally has equipped you for the battle. Demons should be terrified of you. When you walk on the scene, they should be terrified of you, not the other way around. You should not be worried, oh, the girl, the devil's attacking. Oh, he's, 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 no, 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 no. That's what demons should be saying about you when you get up, when you read your Bible, when you lay it on your face, when you push your plate back. God wants us to live victoriously every single day of our lives and so i pinned the link if you want to be in my core group it is uh, a women's group i love to teach and equip women this is my metron it's what god has gifted me to do in this particular area we need to be equipped i'm done playing patty cake in church I'm done with just a nice, good sermon. High five your neighbor, turn around for the victory and walk out completely demonized, completely messed up in a cycle, strongholds, your mind is messed up, your heart is messed up. You, you, no, enough is enough. And so this is why I have decided I'm, I'm clearing everything out for my core group and I'm teaching and I'm training. So if you wanna be in my core, I put the link there. I just finished up a whole entire series of breaking off rejection. I gave my students all of these PDFs, 
all of these different prayers, literally sheet after sheet after sheet. They could just download. We went through weeks and weeks of this teaching. My core group is open. We can do, you can either be on Zoom and you can also be on the Facebook Live in the private group. Hope to see you in it. Love you guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.